you only need fish not there, that's where it's flat. That's where he just keeps the bait being washed up in there. Any bait and stuff that's been washed over these banks is getting clumped up right there. Right, so that's what I want to fish. Same bank just here. Just letting him sit so he can sort of breathe in that. I don't want to take him straight out of the water when he's just had a bit of a fight. Last flight that I was caught, caught on this little atomic, atomic boat here. This is one I found actually in freshwater, and um, it was just completely coated in this, like this black, thick, like mud. And uh, scratched at it away for with the stick, started to get some colour. Cleaned it up with a toothbrush at home, and there you go. That's like a $15, 20 lure found. It's pretty cool. I just caught it on. Uh, a little sandbank around here. Obviously not this shallow. I've been drifting a little bit. But um, yeah, just uh, slow rolling it over the bank. It's a real deep diver, so it's hitting, hitting right down on the bottom, digging up some sand in that. Obviously just came across a little flatty. If you like the look of it, smashed it. There you go. I don't know if you saw it or not, because the GoPro ran out of charge. Um, but uh, I just sort of let it go and it sort of flew out of the net, as you do. But uh, yeah. So yeah, what I'm doing. No, it's all this shelling and stuff. sand, got that bit of shine going, that's how I caught that last flooded, it's probably 40, 40 something, not too big legal size, but no point keeping him, don't want to give him, so let him grow up and become a nice breeding thing now. Yeah, 
that's where I'm at now. A bit more. That much water. So, you know, three foot, two foot. As you, you know, go further, it gets a bit deeper. And, uh, slow rolling it. It'll eventually get down, it's down on the bottom now and it's hitting the bottom, just digging up some sand. This is the prime spot. I'll sit here and do this for another 20 minutes. Don't get anything, move, change tactics. One or the other. But long here, I could honestly pick up anything from Flooded to Moses to Brim, Trevally, Taylor. Almost anything. I'm sort of in one of the main channels of the Noosa River mouth. Just on a drop off. Most likely Flooded, but there's no reason why a uh, school to Trevally um, won't. I'm gonna come cruising by and take, uh, take my lure. That'd be nice. But then uh, there's probably holes in that around here where it's probably stocked with brim and Moses and everything in between. Don't expect to catch a brim or a Moses on a lure like this. But uh, but yeah.